What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today I'm gonna to be checking out X1 from Xfinity. Comcast asked me to come take a look and more importantly, share it with you guys. One of the cool things is this remote which now features voice control. Pretty cool function, so let's check it out. All right, so now I've got the system. Okay, hold on. Yo. All right, so now we've got the system booted up. I've got the remote in my hand, which is obviously very important. A lot of the magic happens with this button here, the Xfinity button. When I press it, you'll see a little menu come up along the bottom of the screen. Now the first option is a guide. It allows you to see what's on right now. You get the on-demand section. This is gonna be the home of everything that's available on demand, whether that's TV, movies, and so on. Featured movies, new and most popular. Select something that's of interest to you. Or, if you're like me, you can sort of just browse around and spend a bunch of time watching a bunch of trailers and never deciding on anything. The ratings for Rotten Tomatoes listed right on there. And you can actually sort by those critics' ratings. One of the key features here is the ability to search things using your voice. There's a microphone at the top, Drake. Look at this. Look at this right here. With the old man dance moves, he knew people were gonna be talking. I love it though, well done. We've also got an apps selection. This might be the coolest spot in my opinion. You can have access to your personal photos via various social media. And then you've got some apps specifically for sports, weather, horoscopes, if that's your kind of thing. You can see I'm watching a game on the left, but maybe I'm a heavy duty sports fan. Over here on the right hand side, I've got all the sports from NFL to NBA. Once I click on something, let me say I scroll down here, Bills versus Jets, let's say. I can see all these stats. Look, average score, average time of possession. I can see who's injured right now. So as a sports fan, this means you don't really need to choose. You don't need to land on only one event. You will be following some other sporting event essentially over here in the sports app on the side. So you can also have a little bit more fun with voice search. I'll be back. The Terminator. This has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's surprising to me. I mean, I get it. Now, one of my favorite features is the opportunity to binge watch. You find a show, you get started. Next thing you know, it's the next day. Breaking Bad. I can watch, I can pick whatever episode I'm looking for, season four, episode two, so on. I can resume if I've started one. I can then go in and look at the cast and crew from the show, select somebody, and then continue to navigate, see all of the other movies that this particular actor is appearing in. Now I can also favorite an actor so that he lives in my favorites section so that if anything gets added, I can go check back. This is good too. You can see more like this. Of course, Better Call Saul comes up. This is sort of like a smart section that understands what show it is that you were interested in and then finds ones that are kind of similar that you might like as well, but maybe you don't know what you want. Maybe you want to sit back, lean back in the couch, and let the system do the work. You can with this little phrase right here. What should I watch? The universe of things that I should be looking at has just shown up here. And look, it's pretty smart too because it brought up True Detective. They know that I probably want to go back and do that again. I wouldn't be totally against, especially the first season. Second season, True Detective is exactly the type of show that binge watching was created for. Each episode just moves into the other so beautifully, messes with your dreams a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it. Finding the way that you like to interact with your content, and it's different for everybody. There's also a trending section. I'm gonna click on this real quick. This is gonna bring up the popular stuff that's on right now that a lot of people are watching, so maybe you wanna get into that conversation on Twitter as is happening down here. You can also select movies, so all you're seeing in your guide is movies. If you happen to be a movie buff, I can see events that are on now. Uh, programs that are on now and then I can also move forward in the timeline see stuff that starts at 5 30 6 and so on and at the very top there's another filter so I can then go in from here and only select HD stuff or select stuff in a specific language so there you have it x1 from Xfinity and as I said before this is all about navigating the wide world of content movies television sports the whole picture as I showed you in this demo here you can do it with voice you can do it with buttons. If you're old school, it's completely up to you, but that's the idea. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and I'll catch you very shortly on the next episode. Later, guys.